You may not see it at first, but common ground is on display at the state capitol. Tonight, Denver 7 reporter Jason Grenauer and photojournalist Andrew Bray are showing us where to look. Even in the quietest times, there's such a grandeur to this building. In every room of the Colorado State Capitol. It's beautiful. There's such intricate details everywhere you look. History surrounds you. Those desks that the senators sit at are the original desks. They've been here since the beginning. Look past the politics, the debate, the arguments, and you'll see beauty on these walls. It maintains a historical record through the art that we have here. For over a century, Colorado's history has been made here. The nature of this building and how it was built, it's solid and stone and sturdy. This is for Girl Scouts. But it is always open to be changed. We have lemon up. And as history becomes the present, <laughs> change is inevitable. We have photographers, painters, all different kinds of art and medium adding new to the 100 plus year old walls. My intention was to try to bring some of that energy and vitality that I know exists outside the dome right here into the Capitol. Senator Julie Gonzalez settled on adding artwork from Colorado veterans. I paint this way because I see this way. Including local vet Jim Stevens. My style of art is unique. To me, I have created what I call monofilament paintings paintings on monofilament strings. But even this nationally renowned artist couldn't outpaint a pandemic. Well, the bottom fell out when COVID hit. We had to close the, the art gallery down. It was a collective sigh of resignation and sadness. The virus shuttered the doors of the VFW's art gallery. The opportunity at the Capitol offered his work a new home. Art is an ultimate form of expression. In the course of that expression, it, it's also an ultimate means of healing. Work that's a release for him. I was angry for years and my art finally got me so busy I forgot to be angry. A release from his past. I was in the army for 11 years. Uh, I was shot in the head in Vietnam. It left bullet fragments in my head. 23 years after I was shot one of the fragments moved, caused a stroke in my visual cortex and took my eyesight in 30 minutes. Never one to be held back by a combat injury or a pandemic, Jim's art and that of his fellow vets found a home in these historic corridors. Right now we have 13 legislators that are working with us and we've got art in their, in their offices and we match them up with an artist of their taste. These walls can't talk, but what's hanging on them can get people to talk. The art they create is in the Capitol as a point of unity. It's something that everyone, regardless of political bent, can enjoy. And maybe that's what this place needs. I think this is a, a place where, yes, we probably need to have moments where we get away from the strife and uh, enjoy something that is lovely. It does bring people together. We can all appreciate art. No matter how bitterly divided we may find ourselves, we'll always be able to find at least one or two points of, uh, of unity. If it's having a conversation about art, it's finding uh, a point of commonality where we can say, okay, I can agree with you on this. Where else can we find other points of agreement? In a building full of history, a new perspective. I think veterans have such a, a powerful lens through which their artwork creates that space for conversation. It's really an honor for us to display these veterans' art pieces. And with more paintings to come? I think there's potential for a lot more, absolutely. There's lots of walls in the Capitol. Comes the potential to do more than just fill the walls. Maybe that art in its own way can be inspiring. And uh, maybe the art can help us get good laws. <laughs> I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.